New Zealand first plans to review the way it handles donations. The move is hot on the heels of news the Serious Fraud Office is investigating the New Zealand First Foundation after the Electoral Commission concluded donations to it were not properly declared. The Commission began looking into its funding structure late last year after reports by RNZ and staff. In a statement, the Commission says it believes some donations to the Foundation should have been treated as party donations for New Zealand First and the donations were not properly passed on to the party or disclosed as required by law. The Commission referred the matter to the police and the police have referred it on to the SFO. Professor Andrew Geddes, the man who wrote the book on electoral law, explains how it's come to this. What the Electoral Commission is saying is that having reviewed the information available uh, to them about the New Zealand First Foundation, its relationship to the New Zealand First Party, uh, it is of the opinion or it believes that there is sufficient evidence to conclude that some offending has uh, been committed against the Electoral Act. Because under the Electoral Act, the uh, Electoral Commission has a statutory duty to refer matters on to the police if it believes an offence has been committed. The fact that it's referred the matter on therefore speaks for itself. What is the core issue here? Is it a question of whether the New Zealand First Party and the New Zealand First Foundation are one and the same thing, connected, or whether they're two separate entities? What is the nub of it? So the Electoral Commission has concluded, and it says so in its uh, release, that the donations that were given to the New Zealand First Foundation were actually party donations, uh, donations to the New Zealand First Party uh, under the Electoral Act. And having looked then at the way that those donations were treated, uh, the Electoral Commission uh, is of the belief that they haven't been treated as the Electoral Act requires and that some form of offending uh, will have occurred as a result. Now, exactly who's committed those offences or what those offences might be, the Commission hasn't said in its release. And, of course, it is actually up to the police, actually the Serious Fraud Office now, to decide whether offending has been committed that can be proven in court. What is the issue with the way the donations are recorded? Well, it appears that what happened was that the money was put into the New Zealand First Foundation's bank account and then spent from that bank account on uh, New Zealand First Party activities. So it wasn't passed over to the New Zealand First Party and to the party secretary as the Electoral Act would require. And also the New Zealand First uh, Party uh, disclosure to the Electoral Commission didn't account for those donations. They didn't show up as being uh, donations to the party as the Electoral Act would have required. So, as you say, the Commission has referred it on to the police and almost instantaneously the police have referred it on to the Serious Fraud Office. Why? Two reasons, probably. One is uh, simply the way that the uh, police treated the uh, donations that were given to the National Party last year. Uh, if you know, we can cast our minds that far back. Uh, an allegation was made by Jamie Lee Ross to the police about uh, offences that had been committed with regard to those donations. The police ultimately referred that to the Serious Fraud Office, and I suspect the police want to be seen to be treating these two issues in the same way, to avoid any sort of allegations that they're treating one more seriously than the other. Uh, the other reason, of course, is the Serious Fraud Office simply has the capacity to trace money and to trace donations through bank accounts probably more easily than the police do, uh, which is why the police have probably chosen to give it to them. I don't know if you've had an opportunity yet to see the statement that Winston Peters has released this afternoon. He is said in that statement that the party can confirm it will be reviewing its arrangements for party donations. Well, that would seem to be wise, given that uh, the um, party secretary and the uh, New Zealand First Foundation, you know, are potentially in some legal trouble here. And given that the Electoral Commission has, you know, obviously concluded it believes that some form of offending has taken place, you'd expect a political party to think very seriously about what it's doing. But he has been pretty steadfast in saying that they've followed the letter of the law at every step. Well, he says that. The Electoral Commission obviously thinks different. So also the other, well, separate but connected development, I suppose, is yesterday, again, Winston Peters said he could no longer tolerate the mendacious attacks against uh, the party and its supporters and that he was reporting a massive breach of party information to the police and the Privacy Commissioner. Is, is that a legitimate avenue of complaint for him? Well... He can say that if he wishes. 
uh, one does wonder if though that sort of language has been used to try to, you know, uh, distract from the fact that uh, his political party has just been referred to the police for its, you know, donations on the basis of this information. So, you know, chasing the messenger fine, but, you know, the important thing here is the message that this sort of activity just really has no place in our democratic processes. You have done a pretty um, detailed dive into uh, the documents that have been available, um, and from that, what did you take away? That I wasn't surprised at all about the Electoral Commission's decision here. Put it this way, if the Electoral Commission, after having seen those documents, had said, look, we don't think there's anything really to look at here, there's no further... Uh, action needs to be taken, that would have said that our electoral laws were fundamentally broken. Because if this sort of arrangement is within the law, then all parties are free to do it. And it basically blows a complete hole in any sort of transparency, any sort of disclosure about where parties are getting money. So, as I say, having read those documents, I was not surprised the Electoral Commission took the action it did, and I'm very, very happy to see it has. And that's Professor Andrew Geddes, who's an electoral law expert at Otago University. We did ask Winston Peters on the programme, but he declined. In a statement, Mr Peters confirmed New Zealand First will be reviewing its arrangements for party donations. And the New Zealand First leader says he advised the party last week to refer the matter to the police and it agreed to do so. He says this doesn't imply any impropriety, but is intended to ensure the party, as with all parties, have robust arrangements.